Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Tanika, and in today's video, it's just going to be a chilled one. We're going to be applying some makeup and having a little chin wag. I've got my lemon water here because I'm trying not to drink coffee. I don't rely on coffee, but I do enjoy having one, so it is a bit of a change, but how cool is my mug? It's Chandler from Friends. I've had a very long, hard day. <laughs> Classic. I got it from Grey Lines. But anyway, I have lots to catch you up on, on what has been going on in my life. And I also have a lot of makeup here that I want to talk to you about. So if you enjoy today's video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and let's just get into it. Okay, starting off, I'm going in with the L'Oreal Infallible Anti-Redness Primer. My face is a mess right now. This is actually quite calm to what it was a few days ago. <laughs> so as you'll probably know, this is my favorite anti-redness primer. It just tones everything right down. So I wanna do these chatty style videos maybe once a month, but I need a creative title for them. I don't just want to call it a chit chat get ready with me because I feel like it's a bit impersonal and boring. The only thing I could come up with though is Tanika Talks and that's not creative at all. I really don't like it. So if you have any ideas, leave me a comment down below. The idea of the video is just literally chit chat get ready with me. So I'm chatting. We're catching up and I'm playing with new makeup and just giving you my thoughts on everything that I'm using. So, I don't know. I was thinking like makeup and talking. <laughs> Seriously, I, I can't come up with anything. So, if you've got any good ideas, hit me up down below. Alright, so that has completely dulled down the overall redness to my skin. I am going to go in with my NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer to cover up the blemishes. But first I'm going in with my MAC Strobe Cream because I want a nice glowy luminous base. So, oh my gosh, I have literally had the craziest week of my life. It has been so good, so much fun. <sighs> Firstly, as you'll probably know if you watch some of my other chatty videos, my sister was pregnant. So she gave birth about two weeks ago now. So I am officially an auntie for the very first time, which is so exciting. So the story goes, my family were all going to go on a cruise for my sister's 21st and my brother's 18th. But then when Amber fell pregnant, her due date was three days before the cruise. So. A few of my family members had to cancel, but the rest of us were still going. So her due date was on the Saturday and our cruise left on the Tuesday. And I really wanted to be there for the birth. So, you know, that didn't really give a lot of time for the baby not to come around her due date. So I was starting to like, just feel sick and feel a bit anxious that like I was gonna miss the birth. I was like, oh my God, like do I not go on the holiday? Like I don't know what to do. But then, luckily enough, she ended up going into labor on Sunday night. She was in labor for 24 hours. 24 hours. <laughs> I, like, everyone knows where babies come from, but actually being there and witnessing it and watching the whole thing unfold, <sighs> holy shit, like, shout out to all you mums out there. That was crazy. So, got home pretty late, uh, woke up early the next morning on the Tuesday, packed my bags for the cruise, quickly went and saw her and Bob, and then off we went. So, how perfect was that for timing? Okay, for foundation, you would all know by now that I have been obsessed with the Maybelline Superstay. Now, I have the shades here, 102 Fair Porcelain and 110 Porcelain. These shades, unfortunately, aren't available in Australia. Why? I don't know. So I bought them off of eBay. Now, when it comes to the shades in Australia, the lightest shade is 03 True Ivory. So I bought this to compare it to the other shades that I have, and it's nowhere near as light as those, which is a real bummer because this foundation is so freaking good. I'll just show you some swatches now so you can see. I just kind of mush them all together. 
Oh, what is this? Hang on. This shade here is the lightest one available in Australia, True Ivory. This here is 110 and this here is 102. So as you can see, there is quite a major difference in how light they are. Now I have been playing around with the shade True Ivory and it does work if you add some lightning drops to it. So if you're in Australia and you don't want to purchase off eBay but you really want to try this foundation, just pick up some lightning drops. I love these ones by Astralis here. They're about $20 full price but you can always pick them up on sale. If you just mix a bit of those into the foundation, it will become light enough but it's kind of annoying that you have to do that but us pale gals in Australia should be used to that by now. And then when it comes to the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder, this just got released in Australia, which is like finally so exciting. But as per typical Australia does, they didn't release the lightest shade, 05 Fair, which again, I bought off of eBay. So in the US, the shades go 05 Fair, 10 Light, and so on. But in Australia, the lighter shade they released is called 10 Fair Light. Now, I did buy it just so I could compare it to the other one that I have here. And... It's not gonna work, guys. It's not gonna work. This is the shade Fair 05, available in the US. And this is the shade 10 Fair Light, available in Australia. I'll just turn the brightness down, help you see that a bit. So it is a fair powder. It does have quite a yellow undertone to it, but I can just tell that it's going to darken the shade of my foundation and it's not going to work. So that's a bummer. I did find a powder by Maybelline though that I'm still, it could work. I, I'm still a bit iffy on it. And it is the Fit Me Matte and Poreless Pressed Powder. And this is in the shade 110 Porcelain, which is equivalent to the shade 110 Porcelain in the Fit Me foundation range. So if I hold it up against the Fit Me Loose Powder in 05, you can see that they are quite similar. But I just don't know if I'm finding that this darkens my foundation. I still need to experiment with it a bit more. I don't know if it was just because I used it with my mixed version of the Superstay, so maybe I mixed that too dark and then when I applied the powder it looked too dark. But I'll definitely keep you updated on the Fit Me pressed powder because it does look super light and it could be an option for us fair girls. All right, so with all that being said, I'm going in with my 03 True Ivory and mixing it with some lightning drops. So I put three pumps of the foundation and three drops of the lightning liquid. This here is the foundation on its own and this is it mixed. All right, so back to the cruise, we went for four nights up to Airly Beach and back. It was my two brothers, one of my brother's girlfriends, my sister and Clinton. And we had such a good time together. It was so much fun. The weather was absolutely amazing. We spent most of the days just relaxing out on the deck. We did a few activities. I actually got up and sung karaoke one night, which I can't sing, like the worst singer ever. But my sister and I were going to do Super Bass by Nicki Minaj, but then they didn't have it. So the girl was like, why don't you do Ignition Remix? And I was like, you get me, it's happening. So I got up there and sung Ignition Remix by R. Kelly. And as I said, I wasn't good, but I think I was entertaining. <laughs> and that's all that matters. For concealer, I'm just going to be using the Maybelline Fit Me in the new shade 05 Ivory, which is available in Australia at Priceline now. Look how fair it is. <laughs> so as you may have just noticed, I was using a different sponge. This is the Flower Beauty sponge, which I actually had a subscriber send over for me because Flower Beauty isn't available in Australia, but I did hear that it is coming to Chemist Warehouse next year. So. Keep your eyes and ears peeled for that because hopefully we will get our hands on this soon. I am like the biggest sponge snob. I am beauty blender. 
and that's it. Every other sponge just feels like a rock. So Katie who sent this over to me said, trust me Tanika, you will love this sponge. And she was not wrong. It is so soft. It has a very different texture to the Beauty Blender. This feels more like memory foam rather than whatever the Beauty Blender is made out of. But as I said, it is so incredibly soft. If there was just one thing I would change about it, I would like it if they cut both sides on that angle because it would just make it easier to get up under the eyes. I find I have to really squish it in tight to make it thin to get right up in that inner corner. But if you're a beauty blender snob just like me, I definitely recommend giving this sponge a go because it actually works really well and is so soft. <laughs> For under my eyes, I'm using the Fit Me Loose Powder in 05. And then for the rest of my face, I'm going to use the Fit Me Matte and Poreless Press Powder. So the couple of days that I have been trying out this powder, it really does set your makeup in place all day. It is a really good powder. I didn't have barely any oils coming through on my T-zone here. As I mentioned, I just need to keep sussing it out if it makes my foundation darker or not because like, I don't know if I'm just seeing things or if I'm paranoid. For bronzer, I'm going in with this one by Makeup Revolution and it is just called Ultra Bronze. That's it. But it is such a nice bronzer for fair skin. It has more of a cool undertone so it's not going to leave you looking orange. So back to the cruise. They had two theme nights. The first one was Gatsby, which is my all-time favorite dress up. It is just, oh, I just love it. Everyone went all out and they looked so good. They had a massive party. They had a live singer and the room was all decked out. Gatsby, it was so cool. We had the best night. My brother had a few too many Long Island iced teas and we went up to like it's called the dome, it's like the top area where there's like a club. And so we went up there to keep partying and and he's laying on one of the couches where we were sitting with his hand, like his head on his hand like this and end up going to sleep. And there's like music blasting, people everywhere chatting and he's just like, I was like, seriously mate, what are you doing? And then the other theme night was White Night, which, oh my gosh, I don't own a lot of white clothing because that's just dangerous territory right there. So trying to find a white outfit was so hard. And one that I'm going to wear again, I don't like spending a lot of money on things if I'm only gonna wear it once, you know? So I end up getting like a pair of white collot style pants, you know, they're like high-waisted, then they come just down to your calf. They're really nice and dressy, so I'll definitely get some more wear out of those. And then when we went to Airly Beach for the day, we just browsed the town and went over to the lagoon and had a swim. We couldn't actually swim in the beach there because there are stingers, so you literally have to like wear a wetsuit. But the lagoon was so nice. We had a lot of fun just being idiots in there, you know, handstand competitions, who can hold your breath the longest, all that kind of baby crap. One day we also went and did a martini masterclass and they were getting people up to make the martinis. And so they wanted um, a couple for one of the recipes. And so of course my family were like, eh, I'm pointing at me and Clinton. So we got called up and the martini was like a berry thing and it had cream on top. And so what they made us do was I had to make the martini and then Clinton had to sit in a chair and then they played music and while I mixed it, I had to dance and give him like a lap dance. <laughs> oh my God. It was hilarious, but embarrassing. And I was like, how come I'm the one that has to dance? This isn't fair. But luckily they switched us around and Clinton had to make the cream that goes on top. So of course they were making like all these filthy jokes. It was hilarious. And then same thing, they played music and Clinton had to get up and dance and 
oh my god, it was so funny. Afterwards, like all these middle-aged women were coming up to him going like, oh, we, we loved him dancing. Oh. <laughs> By the way, the blush I just used is the Essence Matte Touch Blush in the shade Peach Me Up. My lid broke off it the other day, but... That's okay. For my highlighter, I'm going in with a, another one by Makeup Revolution. This is the Skin Kiss, please stay, Ice Kiss Highlighter. <laughs> and then just to settle all the powders into my skin, I'm going in with my MAC Fix Plus. For my eyeshadow, I'm going to go back in with the Designer Brands ICU palettes. I did a video testing these out the other week, and you said that you wanted to see more with some of the other palettes. So this one here is in the shade Fired Up. I'm just going to prime my lid with the Maybelline concealer I used earlier. Might actually zoom you in for this. I'm just going to very lightly set with some powder as well. I'm going to start with this orange shade here, and that is going to be my crease transition shade. Seriously, these pack and blend so easily. I'm so impressed for a little $12 eyeshadow palette. So if you live in Australia, I'm sure you would have heard that Priceline had their 50% off cosmetic sale the other week. Now, of course, I did a little bit of shopping and I actually managed to pick up the new NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop foundations. Now, I went and had a look in store and they did have all the shades there, like on the display, but they weren't actually stocked. So out of like the five fairest shades, only two of them were stocked. And that was the same deal online as well. So I did my price line order online and I picked up two shades. I think I got pale and porcelain or something. So I should get those soon and I will definitely do a review. It's just so good to see a foundation range with so many shades. And I love it when there's so many fair shades that I actually don't know which one to choose. I'm like, oh my God, like look at all these options. So I hope that the foundation is actually good and it works out because it's great to have a lot of shade options on the fair scale and on the deeper scale as well. Here's a close up of how that has packed and blended on. <sighs> Amazing. Then I'm going to take this burgundy shade here and slightly run that through the crease. I'm not going to bring it up as high. I just want to add a little bit of definition. And then I think for the lid, I will go in with this light champagne shimmer. Okay, my battery just died and I went to put my other one in. It was also dead. So while I was waiting for that to charge, I quickly just finished off this eye. So next I went in with the shimmer shade here and I'm going to pop that on my lid. I did wet it with some Fix Plus, but it's still not as shimmery as I would like it to be. And then I go back in with that burgundy shade, just a tiny bit on my brush to blend the edges of those two shades together. All right, lower lash line, I went in with the orange on a pencil brush and then in with the burgundy on my favorite Sigma E15 flat definer brush. For mascara, I have been loving the L'Oreal Unlimited. Now, as you can see, this is the weirdest packaging and 
It's got a bendy wand and it's meant to be, like it's meant to help you be really precise. I think this is a little gimmicky. I don't really need it. I don't find it that much more helpful, but the mascara, the formula on the inside is amazing. I usually prefer a fluffy mascara wand. So something more like this. And this is what the L'Oreal one looks like. But, oh my God, it just does such a good job at separating and lengthening my lashes. I've really, really been enjoying it. I talked about it over on my Insta stories last week sometime. I do highlight a lot of my Insta stories as well. So if you want to see my reviews or my thoughts on any products, just go and check my highlights out on my Instagram. I did a little comparison of this mascara compared to the L'Oreal Lash Paradise. Is that what it's called? It's called Paradise Ecstatic in Australia, but the Lash Paradise. So yeah, if you want to see the difference between those, then go check out my Insta highlights. And then to complete the eyes, you know I've got to go in and tight line. So today I'm using the Rimmel Exaggerate Waterproof Eye Definer, and this is in a brown shade. I just think that it'll go a bit better with these tones that I've got going on. And then for brows, I actually got to go to the Mac store yesterday and learn a bit about a new brow routine. So this is the completed brow. And is that not the most natural looking brow you've ever seen me have? Like, come on, have a little close up here. Like that all looks like real hair. I'm so excited to show you this. So first of all, we have the False Lash Maximizer. Now this is like a primer for your lashes, but their little tip was to use it in your brows. So I just go in with a little bit of this. Next, I have the Brow Set Gel in the shade Beguli? Beguil? Not sure about that one. I'll leave it in the description box. <laughs> and she said to go in with your brow gel first, which is like, I've never done that before. So in with the brow gel to tint the brows and just give them a bit of volume. And then the next product I have is the Shape and Shade Brow Tint. On one side, it comes with a felt tip pen, which again, I have never used that for my brows before. And on the other side, oh, it twists. It has like a little shading sponge, which the girl said, if you've got really sparse brows like me, you're probably not going to use that. But oh my God, this side, okay. So what you do is you just draw little tiny flicks like this. Sorry, that was out of focus. And you get a nice natural looking brow. So this is the first time I've done it on myself. Bear with me here. So I can see I need to add a lot to the top here for that arch and then a little bit on the end. I really like that she mentioned using the brow gel first because it really shows you the areas that you actually need to fill. Okay, so I'm gonna start down here and make this a bit more even. She said with the top, don't draw it, just flick up so that it still looks like hair. She said you can lightly spoolie through, but you don't want to go too heavy because it will kind of blend the individual lines that you've just spent so long creating. All right, and then just to tidy up under my brow, I'm going in with a concealer brush that I used earlier. I'm not putting any extra product on it, and I'm just going to lightly brush underneath there, just at the front to tidy it up. 
And then I'm just going to go back in with a tiny bit more brow gel. I think I might also pick up that product, the Shape and Shade in a lighter color. My brows are tinted at the moment, so they're a bit darker. So when the tint fades, I think a lighter color will be perfect. So that is just a close up of the brows. All right, for the lips, I think I'm just going to go in with a gloss because they're really dry at the moment. I'm just going to lightly line them with the Color Sensational Lip Liner. And then in with the Fenty Beauty Gloss Bomb in the shade Diamond Milk. Oh, I forgot to talk to you guys about this. Out of time now. But I booked a wedding venue. <laughs> oh my god. We are booked in for May 2020. <sighs> That's literally all I've done. Like I haven't booked anything else or looked at anything else. So maybe in the next little chatty video, I will update you on that and hopefully some other things that I've done. <laughs> but yeah, that is so exciting. Things are happening. Oh, I just drop everything all the time. All right, well, this is the finished look. I hope you enjoyed watching today and catching up with what has been going on. If you enjoyed, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. And if you're new here, please subscribe to my channel because I'm trying to hit 4,000 subscribers by the end of the year and I'm getting so close to my goal. If you have any video requests, make sure you leave me a comment down below. And as I said, I will get on to trying out that NYX foundation so I can do a review for you. All right, well, that is all from me. I hope you're having a great day and I will see you all in the next video. Bye.